Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Oh my god, this is so weird. I'm really, really excited to be back. Um, I do just kind of want to be chill and like talk to you guys in this video and say like where I've been, why I've been so absent, what I've been up to, and what you guys can expect from me. And I just sort of want to talk to you guys. There's a lot that's changed. There's a lot that's the same. First off, I just want to say two things. Number one, if you hear trucks, lawnmowers, or leaf blowers, it's because that's what's going on outside and this is the only time today that I have to film this video. I have to film it now so I'm really sorry for the noise. I wish I could do something about it, but I can't. And second, because I know I'm going to get questions about it, this is all my hair. Okay girl, I have no extensions in. She grew. It's because of the collagen peptides that I take all the time. Oh god, alright. So I do just want to say that I already filmed this video. I filmed it like two weeks ago and I hated how it turned out. I just thought that I was super rambly in it and that I wasn't like getting to the point. And I also just thought that it was like stupid. So I took like a two week recap and I like gathered my thoughts and I was like, okay, you really need to come back with a plan. Just know that I'm really excited to be back and I filmed this before. So if my thoughts or my words seem kind of like scripted, it's because I've already said this before. Look at the sun, she's like peeking through right now. I guess we'll keep her. A little golden hour moment. Uh, even though it's not a golden hour. But this is not gonna work. All right, I guess I'll just embrace this. I should take a picture right now because that's freaking cute for a picture. Oh, it's going away. All right, anyway. Hi, I'm Tori Sterling. Uh, if you guys are new to my channel, feel free to subscribe. Uh, I'm going to be uploading twice a week on Thursdays and on Sundays. And if you guys have been a subscriber of mine for so long, welcome back. Thank you guys for sticking with me through my break and uh, just being so patient with me. Uh, let me begin with why I started my YouTube channel. So I'm going to take it back seven years. I'm 20 years old right now and I started my YouTube channel when I was 13. I was in eighth grade. I had like a couple friends good friends but um I just wasn't myself that year like I was super depressed and I never really talked about it on this channel but I think looking back on it it was hormones and growing up and like experiencing emotions and feelings that I never felt before and I didn't know how to cope with it so it led to a depression for me so I was pretty depressed uh, for a little while and I started YouTube to kinda get me out of my depression um, and it was an outlet that I just really enjoyed and at the time no one was watching YouTube videos it was like a very small community small meaning like if you had 500,000 subscribers like that was like the modern day 20 million subscribers like it was insane this was in like 2012 2013 no 2011 something like that. So this was a kind of a while ago. I just remember watching beauty videos and loving it. Like watching makeup tutorials like Juicy Star 07. I, w I forget who else I would watch, but it was mostly Ellen Blair. And I really idolized Blair. Like I wanted to be Blair. I just thought she was so pretty and so cool. And I thought she had such a great life. And I really loved her. This was when she was back in like Tennessee in her pink room. And she was just like everything. And I, I just loved her. And she just felt like an older sister to me and someone that I could just like look up to. So I really, really admired her and inspired to be her. So when I was always growing up, I was super into beauty and fashion and nails and hair and makeup. And I never knew that you could even be like a makeup artist. Like it just never really crossed my mind. And then when I came across the makeup world on YouTube, I was like, oh my god, this is amazing. So I got super obsessed with it in like 7th grade. And then in 8th grade, uh, my depression hit. And then I was like, alright, uh, what makes me happy? And YouTube made me happy. So I started a YouTube channel. And I did makeup on it because I wanted to be a makeup artist uh, when I grew up. So that was me when I was 13. YouTube was my outlet and it was like my, my hobby. And I didn't tell anybody about it because... At the time, YouTube was super weird and like no one really watched it, no one went on it, no one did videos and like if you did, it was super weird. But that's where I was seven years ago when I started my channel. Uh, just a little girl, depressed, didn't really, didn't know what I wanted, uh, didn't know you could make money off this, didn't know how it would end up. I had no idea. High school rolled around and 
my my bad thoughts that's what I used to always call them my thoughts sort of just went away and my depression lifted and I'm so thankful for it and since then I've still been so mentally healthy that I'm really really thankful and I credit a lot of that to YouTube and to finding a passion and loving it and sticking with it. I loved YouTube, I loved makeup still, all in high school, it was like my thing. Uh, my videos were like evolving into vlogs and makeup stuff and just being like a personality. And then my senior year rolled around and I was like okay I'm gonna go to college and I'm gonna stop YouTube when I go to college because the next step in my life is college and after college I'm gonna get a job and I'm gonna figure it out. Like YouTube was fun for high school, it served its purpose, it was great. I made some money off of it um, that I wasn't expecting to, but I just did, and it gave me a great life. But I outgrew it, and that's how I felt at the time. I really truly felt that I outgrew it. So my senior year of high school, I got super into fitness because I found like a local studio, a spin studio, and I love spinning. I lost a ton of weight because I went plant-based, and uh, I just loved it. I loved how I felt. I loved the lifestyle. I loved all of that. So at the, that time, I was like, I was just about to turn 18. So we'll call me 18. So I was 18 and I started the channel when I was 13. So that's five years of growth. From eighth grade to senior year, you grow a lot, okay? So obviously my hobbies and my interests evolved from the time that I was 13 to 18, as I would hope so. And as I hope all of your interests evolve also when you're 13 to 18, because It'd be like a little weird if you were the exact same thing, the exact same way when you were 18 as you were 13. When I was 18, I uh, was super into fitness, and then I went off to college and I kept up with that, and I sort of stopped YouTube for the same reason that I just said. I was growing up, and I was like, all right, it's time for like my next chapter. And as soon as I got to college, I was like, this was the, this was a mistake. Like college is not for me. I'm not done YouTube. Like I'm this isn't my end, like if anything it's my beginning. I moved back home, I bought this condo uh, where I live now, and I continued on with YouTube. And I did that for about a year, year and a half after I moved home from college. So I was 18 when I moved home, bought the condo, lived on my own, and that's where I've been ever since. So fast forward to now that I'm 20, from the time that I came home from Alabama, which is where I went to college, uh, until now. In these two years, I feel like I've grown up five years. It's been a crazy transition for me. And I'm saying all of this because I'm trying to just walk you guys through my shoes, okay? Once I got super into fitness, I started posting a lot more fitness videos. And I stopped wearing makeup because the reason that I loved makeup so much was because when I was so depressed, makeup made me feel beautiful on the outside and it was something really fun for me to do and i loved that i could like transform how i looked i could give myself confidence with makeup and i loved that when i found working out i finally felt beautiful from the inside and when i started to feel like that i stopped wearing a lot of makeup uh, for a couple reasons. Number one, I didn't feel the need to anymore. Number two, I was always sweating from working out, so I would just like put makeup on to take it off. And number three, because of both of those things, I just started wearing less of it. So I got out of practice of doing like really cute makeup looks. I got out of practice of the routine of makeup. I just got out of practice of makeup in general. Um, and when all of that was happening and I was post posting way more fitness stuff and way more, you know, what I eat in a day and becoming a spin instructor and all of that stuff, even before Stride opened. I was transitioning from makeup to fitness and my audience has always been a makeup audience and you guys are the best. And I get it because like when you follow someone that's a makeup channel and then suddenly they become a fitness channel, it's like this isn't what I'm subscribed to. But I totally get that. And then I would get a lot of comments and not hate but just sort of remarks being like, you've changed, you're so different than what you used to be, can you please post makeup videos, you know, I want makeup videos, I don't want the fitness stuff, blah blah blah, x, y, and z. And I get that, I totally do. But at the same time, let's take this to when I was 19 versus when I'm 13, that's six years of a difference. I'm not the same girl I was when I was 13, so my interests changed, my hobbies changed, I evolved as a person. And that's what's really hard about YouTube is that I literally grew up on the internet. And you guys saw my awkward phases, you guys saw my puberty, you've heard my voice change, you've seen every phase of my life, even my emo phases and my bimbo phases, like you guys have seen everything of me. 
And it's very vulnerable to put yourself on the internet for that long and to literally grow up in judgment. It's been, I'm not having a pity party for myself at all. I'm just trying to have you guys understand where I'm coming from. Once I was super into fitness and I was a spin instructor, loving my life, posting fitness vlogs, I just wasn't satisfied. I was like, I know there's more. I was craving more. I was craving to just like take my life to the next level. So that's when I opened up Stride. Stride, if you guys don't know, is a spin studio that I own um, in the suburbs of Philly. And we do spin, bar, boxing, TRX, yoga, Pilates, and... So that's it. And we opened up in August. So we've been open for like three, four months. And it's been so incredible. And when I started to open Stride, which was about a year ago, um, I, it just completely took over my life. And YouTube went on the back burner and I just focused all of my energy to Stride. And I don't regret that at all because it was a huge project and a huge undertaking. And I loved every single second of it. And I'm really grateful that you guys gave me the break to focus on Stride and to focus on my new hobby and my new passion. And my new interests so thank you guys for that in the process of all that now I'm 20 years old and I literally feel like I have grown up so much ever since I just moved back from Alabama like now I'm a business owner like I feel like I have purpose in my life now and I feel like I have a reason to get up so early in the morning and I feel like I have a reason every action has a reason every action has a repercussion and I just impact lives. If not me, the studio does. And it just, it's really, really meaningful to me. Uh, now I'm going off on another tangent, which I don't want to get off on, but pretty much the whole point of that story was to say that I'm not the same girl I was when I was 13 and I'm 20 now. I am totally different. I have completely different interests, hobbies, passions, purposes, um, actions. Everything about me is different. This is kind of like a funeral for the old Tori Sterling. Uh, she's being put to rest, okay? That's not saying I will never do a makeup video again because I might. Um, like if you guys like what I'm wearing makeup wise in a video and you're like, hey, can you just show us how you did that? Sure. But if you guys see like a cute eye look on Pinterest, like ask James Charles, not me because I like, I'm not a beauty guru anymore. I'm just really excited for the new chapter of this channel. It's like a new season rebranding if you will I really want to thank you guys for letting me have this break and figuring out what I wanted to do with YouTube if I still wanted to do YouTube which I do and um, let me find my my reason again like let me find my why I really needed that and um, when you grow up on camera it's hard to find your why sometimes it's hard to know who you are because you feel like you have to fit a mold to you know, get a certain algorithm to make a certain amount of money to live and pay bills. But I found my why and I'm really, really happy and everything in my life is really good. And I'm finally understanding that everything happens for a reason and that everything is falling perfectly into place as it's supposed to. So I'm really thankful and I'm really, really grateful. Uh, I do want to say welcome to the new Tori Sterling, me, uh, to the new channel. I am so excited. So, so, so excited. I'm going to be doing fitness vlogs, what I eat in a days, how to get healthy, all those sort of vlogs. I really just want this to be a super authentic channel. So I'm going to be uploading every Thursday and Sunday at 7 p.m. Eastern time, which is 4 p.m. Pacific time. I guess that's pretty much it. If you guys want to stay updated with me in between my uploads, uh, my Instagram is Tori Sterling. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys so, so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And um, I'll see you guys on Sunday.